Hey, happy Saturday. How are my aquas, my lights, my loves? Let's get started on this reading. For those of you who are new, I do offer a $20 reading. You can click on the description below the video and there's instructions in there. All right, guys, let's see what's going on. Wow, in the middle, I'm seeing something crazy here. All right, this is something uh, toxic that's making someone feel stuck. Um, there is a person who's who's doing something, um, trying to get away with something, it looks like. All right. So, and I'm talking to a feminine right now who's feeling uh, left out in the cold and guarded, okay, or defensive, some type of emotion like that. All right. Because of this toxicity, I want to say that's going on. All right. So something's up. Yeah. This is making you feel super stuck. We have the stuck card on top of the sneaky card. We have a broken heart. All right. This could have something to do with a child, children. Um, <clears throat> uh, someone is being spiteful and taking this out on your kids because you are divorced from this person and this new uh, Knight of Pentacles came into the situation, who is your partner, and your ex is completely jealous, all right, doesn't like the idea that someone else has come in for his children, his wife or ex-wife, but he's still looking at you like he owns you, okay, in some respect there, all right, and I'm seeing you as the mother, uh, you ended this. Okay, because you finally figured out who the hell you are. You are the star. That's right, baby. You're the star, right? So spirit wants you to know that this is how they see you. I'm going to say this to you every single time until you're so sick of me. <laughs> All right. But more, more than this, they want you to realize who you are. You're the star and you've done this. Okay. And you've covered your children. You have, you know, protected them. And given them a chance for something better, okay? This ended. You ended it. And now someone else is giving to you and your kids. Nice. Okay. So here I'm seeing some kind of information coming in, people. All right, information coming into you that's going to provide healing and a lot of wealth. I'm seeing wealth, I'm seeing money, and I'm seeing you moving into um, a new realm, a new realm, like a whole new thing. And guys, you know, something that I had always thought, I can't say it. I can't say it. I want to say it, though. There's a lot of things that people in the know are waiting on, uh, including myself. You know, beautiful things. Big, big changes coming on the horizon. Uh, an unrecognizable uh, planet. Things that are going to change so amazingly. Things that are going to be so good for us that we're going to feel like children. We're just going to want to jump up and down for joy. All right. Um, I've always thought this, but uh, there's a lot of people that are connected, well connected to the people, other people that are on the top that supposedly have information. I know you don't know what I'm talking about, but some of you will. All right. Anyway, these people keep getting this information that something huge is about to happen. And I feel like we're on the precipice of something huge happening. But at the same time, I've always felt that it wasn't going to happen on the, the, the man who is in there right now, the man who is, you know, in charge right now. I just don't think it's going to happen under his watch because um, then the credit will go there. Okay, and the credit needs to go somewhere else because it was somewhere else who devised everything that we have coming. Does that make sense? Probably not to a lot of people. Okay, I'm just going to continue. But, you know, somebody had mentioned that this morning um, that, you know, 
we're not going to see this until somebody comes back. Okay? Because that somebody made all this happen. It's going to, it was behind all, everything that's coming to us. All right. So here I'm seeing somebody feeling stuck. All right. With their lover. Um, yeah. And I'm seeing sadness here and a possible third party. All right. So I'm picking up on a feminine and this is actually you with the third party, not your lover. Okay, you have this third party, you met this person, I gather, and now you're feeling defensive. Um, I don't know if you're confused as to who you want to be with, or you're concerned that this, you know, person's, you know, your lover's going to find out, but I am seeing you celebrating over here. So let's go further. This is dramatic. <laughs> All right, so it looks like you're going to be moving away from this person that you've been with for a long time. This is somebody, this is the emperor, this is somebody who is maybe a few years older than you. Um, this person is probably successful in life and, you know, you might be feeling like that, that's all there is anymore for you is the, the finance end of it. Um, meaning that the love is gone, you know, on your end and you need to be moving away for your happiness. Okay. Um, yeah, things aren't working out anymore and it's making you feel like you're carrying this burden. So you already met this person that you feel is better suited for you. And this might be part of your new cycle, this new person. All right, I'm picking up on a feminine who is an empath who is really feeling that this King of Pentacles is juggling her. Are right, you feeling juggled in some manner? And you're also, you know, this, this feeling that you have, you don't know for a fact, but you feel this so strongly that you have mental clarity anyway even though you don't, you don't have to see it because you're an empath. You're seeing it in different ways. You're feeling it. It's making you not sleep at night. It's keeping you awake. You're so um, tuned into this and so sure of what is going on. Um, and I'm seeing that the king of pentacles again is providing stability here. So yeah, this is a tough situation. You know, and I'm seeing a lot of changes like this coming on right now with relationships. People are leaving their relationships. People are, I think people are really starting to feel themselves and getting the clarity that they, they you know, and this is a, a, a spiritual thing right now that's going on. Like people are choosing to, to leave the matrix or stay in the matrix. It, there's one choice or another. People have a choice right now. So some people, I have people in my family who are choosing to stay in the matrix they can't see beyond it. They, they can only, um, the only thing they can understand is what they've seen and been told so far. That is their truth. Okay. Um, for the rest of us, that's not our truth. That is all fake, phony, and, you know, a lie. And, you know, for the empaths and the light workers, we've known this for a long time because we have felt it and we have seen it. Okay. Um, so the, the, the third dimensionals, uh, a lot of them, you know, are choosing to stay in the third dimension. They're going to continue their lives, you know, just like they've been, you know, with depression and unhappiness and being lied to and, you know, feeling like there's nothing really good to life and they're going to stay there. And that to me is so sad, you know? Um, all right. So I'm seeing this something that this Knight of Wands wants. Okay, they're saying um, right now there's someone else in the mix that is creating chaos with this thing that you want. They're throwing a wrench in your plans. They're throwing a wrench, you know, whatever they're doing, it's getting in the way of what you want. 
Okay, Spirit is saying you are going to have a victory here. All right, so you don't even have to sweat it. It's already a done deal. Okay, so don't sweat it, even though you're seeing, you know, chaos, total chaos. Okay, they want you to use your intuition um, because this tower moment is just chaos. Uh, one thing after another. Um, it really is looking to you like you are not ever going to be able to get what it is that you want. Okay, and you're feeling sad about it. All right, this Ace of Wands is confirming that this is going to happen for you it's going to continue to get better and it's going to flourish okay so again here is the i forgot to be grateful card we're looking at the three spilled cups and you're feeling sad you're not noticing the two full ones behind you so get in a state of gratefulness raise your vibration and bring that thing that you want in okay um yeah you can you can create miracles you can do it you've been given powers that uh, you just have no idea that you have. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm seeing, you know, somebody's like holding on to their money possessively right now, trying to, um, you know, not spend it all. Um, the cards are saying you're going to be free of this soon. Okay. The, the financial stuff. And again, I keep seeing and hearing about this. Um, I wrote it down because I can, for whatever reason, I can't remember the name of it, the guaranteed income. And I feel that the guaranteed income is different than the UBI guaranteed income is, is, uh, uh something good that's coming to us. Okay. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm 99% sure. How's that? Okay. Um, so this guaranteed income is a monthly paycheck, no strings, um, coming in to, um, just give people a, a hand to help people because the way things are going, guys, there's, there's not a lot of jobs out there. And there's a lot of companies that are shutting down. All right. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of chaos right now. So they, they have no choice. They're going to have to help the people. Okay. Anyone who's good out there and has a heart is seeing this, knows that the people need help. All right. And Lord knows we've helped them our whole lives. You know, they've made their money on our backs. So, you know, this is money that's due to us. This is not a handout. Trust me. All right. So look up guaranteed income in your town, your state, whatever, and see if they're offering anything to you yet. Okay. It's spreading like wildfire. It's already all over the place. It's not like one, two states, three states. It's huge. All right. And it's, you know, like $1,200 kind of thing, you know, $800. It's, it's hundreds of dollars a month. So we can use that. Right. So, and it's not, you know, when they say it's for low income people, low income is 75,000 a year or beneath that you that's low income that they're considering low income. I don't, I don't know about that, but that's what they're saying. All right, guys. So look that up. I'm seeing that happiness is coming in for you and abundance. You're going to feel free and you're going to have a lot of choices. You're going to have the money to make these choices and you're not going to be holding on possessively. The Ace of Cups says so. The Ace of Cups is saying that your emotions are going to be overflowing with joy. And I believe my feeling on this is it's coming. Okay. It's coming. I keep checking. I want it. You know, I don't make more than 75,000. I don't think so. Yeah. If that's the case, I want it. I'm going to take it. So it's going to help. It's going to help me and my pets and my family. And like I said, Lord knows they've made money off of our backs. They all have mansions, you know, um, that they, they didn't have that when they first, uh, took the job. If you know what I'm saying. All right, guys, take care until next time.